Trump may use martial law to stay in office. The rabbit in the magic hat in Frosty the Snowman name is Ace. Scott Ferris, B. Little Grinch, C. Hocus Pocus, D. Rabbit Claws. Stay tuned till the end of the video and you will have the answer. To overturn the election. I want to go straight to CNN's Jeremy Diamond. Jeremy, just when we thought we couldn't hear anything crazier, what are we learning about this meeting? Well, it's very clear that as President Trump continues to refuse to accept that he lost this presidential election to President-elect Joe Biden, the president is also still consulting aides and allies for more ways that he could possibly move to continue to contest this election or at least undermine the legitimacy of Joe Biden's election as the 46th president of the United States. We're told that on Friday the president met with uh, Michael Flynn, uh, the former national security advisor uh, who was pardoned by the president despite having pled guilty to counts of lying to the FBI and his attorney, Sidney Powell, who has been trafficking these deranged conspiracy theories about the 2020 election that have been roundly and thoroughly debunked. Uh, the president, nonetheless, during this meeting, apparently was talking about potentially naming Sidney Powell uh, as a special counsel within the government to investigate voter fraud in the 2020 election, despite a total lack of evidence of any widespread voter fraud in this election. And he also discussed uh, apparently this idea uh, that Michael Flynn has brought up recently uh, about using martial law uh, to uh, rerun the 2020 presidential election. I want you to listen to this uh, crackpot idea brought up by Michael Flynn recently uh, on another network, and then we'll talk about it. He could order the, the um, in, within the swing states, if he wanted to, he could take military capabilities and he could place them in those states and basically rerun an election in each of those states. I mean, it's not unprecedented. I mean, these people out there talking about martial law, it's like it's something that we've never done. We've done, martial law has been instituted 64, 64 times. Now, it is not clear uh, at all that that idea is being seriously considered, but it did come up in this meeting in the Oval Office. Uh, we should also note that the military has made very clear that they would never be involved in any efforts as it relates to overturning the results of the election or determining who the next president will be. That is a job for the voters and for the electors who have already chosen Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. And we should also point out that many of these ideas being floated by Sidney Powell and Michael Flynn, while they were enticing to the president, they apparently uh, drew a, a significant backlash from some of the president's advisors, including the White House counsel, Pat Cipollone, and the White House chief of staff, Mark Meadows. Uh, in fact, sources are telling us that uh, the meeting devolved into a screaming match at times, uh, one source calling it, quote, ugly, uh, as uh, Flynn and Powell accused the president's advisors of not pushing hard enough to overturn the results of the 2020 election. What is clear, beyond is that this effort is continuing. And a source told me earlier this week uh, that the president has even floated with some advisors staying at the White House past Inauguration Day before being talked down from that ledge. But it is clear that the president is engaging with some of these very dangerous and concerning ideas. The question is how far he will continue to take it. Uh, we will have to wait and see on that one. The rabbit in the magic hat in Frosty the Snowman name is C. Hocus Pocus. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a like, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.